deal for Gabriel Mech, born in 2008, one more player from South America. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel, Fabrizio Romano here, as always, to keep you posted on the transfer market, and today guys, we have really many things to mention, many updates, many news, crazy week, let's jump into it, together. <music> Today we mentioned many, many news, many stories. It's been a really busy week on the market and keep arriving with many questions, uh, many news. And so let's answer all of them and let's give you all the updates, starting with the triple deal now being completed. Conor Gallagher is in Madrid. Medical test today, contract signing tomorrow. And so Conor Gallagher to Atletico Madrid. Julian Alvarez will sign on Monday as new Atletico Madrid player. 95 million euros, and also included to Manchester City. And also Samu Morodion having his medical at Chelsea and then he will sign soon as new Chelsea player on a seven-year deal so that deal is okay and it's gonna be signed really soon so be patient in terms of time to sign the documents but everything will be okay David De Gea is back guys David De Gea former Manchester United goalkeeper finally back after more than uh, almost 13 14 months with no activity on the pitch for the Spanish goalkeeper he's back and he's gonna play in Serie A verbal agreement let's wait for the signature we know that with free agents is always kind of dangerous on the market but the verbal agreement is in place David De Gea said yes to Fiorentina one year contract plus one year option for David De Gea 2 million euros net salary plus one in add-ons and so David De Gea back to uh, football and he's gonna play in Serie A for Fiorentina as their new goalkeeper good luck to David De Gea after a long stop for him and then I have many news here on my uh, usual uh, paper because I want to update you on many things and one more goalkeeper is for Chelsea because Chelsea today announced Aaron Anselmino born in 2005 from Boca Juniors as new signing center back for next season 2025 but also Chelsea here we go, have closed the deal for Mike Penders, goalkeeper, born in 2005-2, Belgian, considered the new Thibaut Courtois. Chelsea scouting have fantastic reports on this guy, and so Chelsea decided to go very strong on Mike Penders. They closed a deal for 20 million euros package, and also included that Mike Penders will stay at Genk on loan for one more season, and then joining Chelsea. They already signed Philip Jorgensen, but he's for the first team immediately, and then Mike Penders for the future. So, deal done. Agreement done. Contract till 2032 for Mike Penders and Chelsea sign one more for the future. It's not over, because Chelsea, in the next days, will complete a deal for Gabriel Mech, born in 2008. One more player from South America, he's playing for Gremio, he's kind of number 10, a very talented player, they signed Kendry Pyles, they signed William Estevão, they signed also Aaron Stelmino from Argentina in this case, and the next one will be from Brazil, Gabriel Mack from Gremio, so Chelsea keep going with this big activity on the market, and guys, in terms of big activity, I also wanted to mention what's going on at Arsenal, because we know that Arsenal are busy with the situation of adding Ketia after selling Emil Smith-Rowe to Fulham, the situation of Ketia is also very important. With Olympique Marseille was kind of tense situation, uh, Marseille had an agreement with the player, Edin Ketia wants to go to Marseille in the sense that he's open to joining, attracted by the project, so Nketiah wants to go, but the negotiations were already really tense in the recent days when Olympique Marseille had the new bid rejected by Arsenal a few days ago, so Olympique Marseille started exploring other options. Mukoko is not another option. Mukoko is a separate story. Marseille are advancing for Mukoko in a separate deal. But in terms of another kind of number nine, they negotiated for Wahi, but no agreement for uh, Wahi in this case. And so what they are doing is now to negotiate again with Arsenal for Edin Ketia. What I'm hearing is that they presented a new proposal in the last 24 hours for Edin Ketia. The negotiation is restarted with Arsenal. Marseille know that the player wants to go, but now they want to close the deal only at their conditions because they already spent other money in other positions. They signed Jeroni Morulli as new goalkeeper. They are investing on other positions. So now the situation is completely restarted between Arsenal and Olympique Marseille in terms of transfer fee. Negotiations ongoing, but... Remember that Arsenal are working to close the deal for Mikel Merino. And let's move to Real Sociedad. They are probably one of the busiest clubs in this summer transfer window in a complicated situation because uh, obviously their top players are wanted by many clubs. Lenormand was sold to Atletico Madrid and now they know that Arsenal want to close this deal for Mikel Merino. Mikel Merino is not called up for the next game of Real Sociedad. Uh, obviously they say that he's not 100% fit but we know that transfer uh, is behind this story because Mikel Merino has an agreement with uh, Arsenal. The contract is already agreed 
agreed. The player said yes. He knows that Mikel Arteta wants him. So Mikel Merino is ready to go to Arsenal. Atletico Madrid wanted him, but they've been informed that he wants to go to Arsenal and they closed the deal for Conor Gallagher. Barcelona considered Mikel Merino, but he wants to go to Premier League. He wants to go to Arsenal. He wants to play for Mikel Arteta. This is the reality. And now Arsenal are working, already closing in on the deal since last week, working on verbal basis with Real Sociedad, but they need to close on payment structure, payment terms. So there are things to clarify between Arsenal and Real Sociedad with a fee over 25 million euros for Mikel Merino. Negotiations ongoing, but Arsenal keep working on Mikel Merino as top target for the midfield. As always said, he's not the only name in the list, but for sure is the name they want to bring in this summer. So work in progress for Mikel Merino. And then there is Martin Subimendi for Liverpool. Another crucial story because Liverpool are going very big, as we said yesterday, for Martin Subimendi. The player is really tempted. The player is really, really tempted by this possibility. He believes that Liverpool is really something special. So he rejected many clubs in the recent years, but he believes that Liverpool could be something really special for his career. So on one side, he is very tempted by this possibility. On the other side, Real Sociedad, after they understood that Liverpool were coming really strong, prepared to negotiate around the release clause or even pay the release clause, Real Sociedad started working with their board to push with Martin Zubimendi to keep the player at the club. So presenting their idea for this season, with the manager also talking to Martin Zubimendi directly to try to persuade him. So Zubimendi is now in a complicated situation with, uh, I mean, beautiful situation. You have Liverpool asking for you and your club wanting to keep you, but at the same time it's complicated for the guy to make a decision with Liverpool pushing and with Real Sociedad trying their best to keep the player at the club. So let's see what happens, but Liverpool are still there for Martin Zubimendi waiting for the player to make his decision. And then guys, I wanted to say something on other situations. Julian Araujo, the Mexican fullback of Barcelona, very close to joining Barmouth. The agreement between clubs is close, 10 million euros. The agreement with the player is being negotiated, but Araujo could leave Barca and join Barmouth. Remember that they are busy because Tottenham are really interested in Dominic Solanke, another piece of the crazy domino we will have around Europe. And then, guys, I wanted to finish by mentioning the situation of Jadon Sancho. Because for Jadon Sancho, now it's important important to say that the situation remains open. I already told you in the recent days, but let me repeat to you this, that Sancho, at the moment, the situation is okay with Ayrton Hag and with Man United, is 100% part of the team, but in case of formal proposal in the next three weeks till the end of the transfer window, there could still be movement for Jadon Sancho. So it's not over for, for Jadon Sancho yet. If there will be an important proposal, permanent transfer, May United could be open to doing business to sell Jadon Sancho and the player could also be open to the move. So it depends on the proposals. Now with an AG, everything is okay, but the situation could be still open. We know that PSG made contact with the agents of Sancho, still no bid to May United, but the situation is Tancho, of Sancho is still one to watch till the end of the transfer window. And so guys, super busy day as you can see, let me know your opinion here in comments on all these stories. I want to know what do you think about it, from Merino to Zubimendi, De Gea, all the others, let me know here in comments, like this video, turn on the notification bell. See you soon here on the channel.